So you know, with the autopilot in the Tesla Model S and X, uh, the car can drive itself without you having to hold a steering wheel. That is really convenient. Uh, you can like relax your shoulder. But of course, because of some, um, uh, I would say, incidents in the past, then Tesla has put some restrictions on how long you, you can drive without any like driver input. And um, uh, it will like, it will bug you, there will be some flashing in the screen, you will see that soon. And then if you don't react, then eventually, you know, there will also be some beeping. And in the end, the car will just stop, uh, because, you know, the car won't know whether, you know, the driver is alive or not, or in another seat or something funny. Um, but uh, every time, you, you know, you have to, like, check in, all you have to do is just give the steering wheel a little nudge, not too hard, because if you do it too hard, you will disengage or stay all the pilot so I want to test now in Norway Europe how often you have to check in you know to see because I believe that in US uh, the, the interval is longer but this also depends on the road and everything so we're going to test out now and see how it goes so there'll be a time lapse with no commentary but you guys can see because it's going to be long between each of them yeah all right let's go then
Okay, that was pretty interesting. Uh, as you probably saw in the first test, I mean in the first run, uh, I tried to just stay on the right lane, even though it was a bit slow. So to kind of like simulate slow speed run. And then in the second run, I intentionally hugged the left lane. Yes, I know you're not supposed to do it, but you know I drove like a typical Norwegian guy who just drives on the left lane for no reason. So I, w I wanted to simulate how it works to just go a higher speed and I didn't want to do the lane change because the lane change will interfere with, uh, with uh, you know, the intervals. So that's why, but uh, I was not in the way for anyone when I did the test anyway. Uh, but you saw that, you know, when I was on the, on the moral way, about every one and two minutes I had to like check in on the steering wheel. But once we hit the stop and go traffic, which was really slow then it seems to go f more more than three minutes i was not able to test it more but uh, that is pretty interesting um and of course um as always you know when you use autopilot you should always focus on the road focus on the mirrors just pay attention pay attention as if you were driving yourself the only difference is that uh, you don't have to touch the steering wheel but you always have to have your hands ready to take over in case something happens yeah so, uh, well, that was pretty cool, you know, I maybe I should try some more stop and go traffic and uh, other tests. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this and what else I should test about autopilot. So, yes, uh, that's it for now then. Bye-bye.